Big news rolling in in the last week from Shimano with them finally acknowledging the issues that some people have had with their Holotech 2 cranks. Now the scope of this is very, very big. There are a large number of these cranks in use all around the world and the production years of effective product is between 2012 and 2019. Now I'm not going to cover off the how, the what, the why of the issue in this video that's been extensively covered elsewhere by other parties. What I'll cover in this video today is what you need to know and what you need to do about it. I'll cover off what's here on screen. So what products or what specific products are part of this inspection and replacement program? Not all cranks are affected. How to identify if your cranks need inspection. If they do, what to do about it and where to go. We'll cover what cranks Shimano are using as replacements if you do have an affected crank set. And third party power meters. What to do if you have a stages, four eyes or something similar on your bike that uses these cranks. Now it is early days in this process, and I've no doubt this will be ongoing for quite some time, but I do have information from Stages, Four Eyes, and Shimano Australia about their position at this point in time. So I do hope this video will be helpful. If so, remember to hit like and hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber here on the GP Llama channel. Okay, let's get straight to the details of the affected cranks and what you're seeing here on screen are 11 speed Shimano road cranks, Altegra and Durace models. So the 6800, the R8000, the 9000, R9100, and the R9100P, which is the Shimano power meter. Shimano also have an extensive list of model numbers affected, which you'll need to cross-reference on your cranks. If you've identified a matching set of cranks on your bike, the first thing I suggest you do is jump on the web and go to your regional Shimano website, be that Shimano Europe, Shimano Australia, or Shimano US. Each region may be processing things a little bit differently, so that's your best source of information. Today, I'll be using the US as a reference to likely what's gonna happen for the rest of the world. Okay, so let's say you've got an affected crank set. It's onto stage two of the process. Step two involves taking your bicycle to a retailer for inspection. They list here Shimano has developed the crank inspection process and will provide clear instructions and tutorials for retailers. Now I've been on the Shimano TEC website and done all the courses on this, passed with flying colors. It's all pretty straightforward, but I'll talk more about the actual process later on. They say here you can take your bike to a participating retailer starting October 1st. Again, this is US, check your regional Shimano website for the specific dates and stores. The retailer will inspect the crank for signs of bonding separation or delamination. This is a visual inspection of the bike. Now what happens if they do find a problem? Shimano list here, consumers whose cranks show signs of bonding separation or delamination during the inspection, the visual inspection, they'll be provided with a free replacement crank set from Shimano that the retailer will professionally install. What are those crank sets? Let's have a quick look. At the Altegra level, the 6800 and 8000 level, the replacement crank is an FC08. At the Duress level, 9000 and 9100, there's the FC09, and for the Shimano power meter, the 11 speed power meter, the R9100P, the replacement is an FC R9200PX. The replacement crank sets over there on the right do match the current 12 speed road offerings from Shimano, however, with different model numbers and being made specifically to replace older model cranks, I'm assuming they've modified the chain line and Q factor for these replacements. It's also worth noting that is an upgrade to the power meter too, to the 9200 version. If there's no issues found with the cranks on your bike, it's on to step three. Shimano listing here, if your crank set passes the inspection, has no signs of delamination, we appreciate your patience and diligence in having the safety inspection done. You may continue using your crank set as normal. Continuing on through their list here, if your crank requires replacement, we appreciate your patience to complete the process. We encourage all riders to maintain their bicycle and riding equipment diligently. Have your bike tuned up and inspected regularly. Ask your retailer for recommendations, etc., etc. Pay attention to changes in the sound and feel of how your bike is riding. Changes could indicate wear out, breakage, or need for adjustment to some part of your bike, including the cranks that may have passed visual inspection in the past, that have now delaminated. So watch for that, I guess. And the final dot point on stage three before we get to the other meaty details, if a replacement crank set is temporary unavailable, Shimano will maintain a registry of retailer requests and notify retailers when a replacement is ready. Bit of a catch all there in case they get absolutely swamped with replacements. Right, so in a nutshell, identify the crank that you have on your bike. If it matches, get it inspected. If there's issues, they'll replace it with the cranks we've just seen. If there's no issues, Keep a close eye on that crank. And Shimano say, it's okay. 
Now, onto the issue of third-party power meters. Let's say you have a Stages or Four Eyes on your crankset, what do you do? This question is answered in the FAQ for the US market. Other markets, you'll need to check your regional Shimano website. Uh, cranks or any Shimano products that are modified by third parties are not covered by warranty. But as an exemption, they will be subject to this inspection. Any items found to fail during inspection that are sent back to Shimano will be replaced free of charge without the power meter installed. Obviously, they don't have stages or four eyes power meters to put on there. Shimano will be providing a rebate in the form of a check to the consumer where the consumer can use that towards the replacement of the third party power meter. So credit where credit's due, literally. Um, they are honorary warranty where they really don't need to with modified cranks coming in and being inspected. So tick box there for Shimano and they're providing payment of some sort as compensation if your crank does need replacing. Now, what are those figures? I've seen these posted online. And this covers single left, single right, and double-sided power meters, but will that cover a true replacement? Probably not. Those figures there, again, subject to change, not quite sure if they're official. All regions will be different, but that just might cover a factory install if you were to send your crank back to either stages, four eyes, etc. And there's no question about it, it's messy whichever way this is solved, but that's not a bad way of doing it, I guess. Now immediately after reading the news from Shimano on this last week, I reached out to both Stages and Four Eyes for comment, given the position they're in with a lot of their products based on the Shimano Cranesec technology. I'll put links in the video description below to where things are at early on with those two companies, starting off with Stages. Stages are committed to rider safety, etc., etc. Um, get your cranks inspected. What to do if your crank is affected? with the uh, Stages power meter, please contact Stages and we will work with you on a factory install process for a new Stages power meter using your Shimano replacement crank. Uh, in markets where the factory install process is not available, we will work with local partners and dealers to ensure all riders have options to replace their Stages power meter. The factory install process is two to four weeks depending on market location. So Stages have the ball rolling there on that one. Onto the Four Eyes media release on this, which I'll link to in the video description below. They acknowledge the issue from Shimano. If any Four Eyes users are impacted by this recall, we are ready to replace their current crank-based power meters with their choice of either a factory install on their replacement cranks, if they've received them from Shimano, or if a quicker solution is needed, directly sending a grade A factory second power meter from our current inventory of left side Precision 3 Plus or dual Precision Pro models. They have some more information down here on their website. Again, I'll put links in the video description below, but that's where things are at with both Stages and Four Eyes at this point in time. Now, being in Australia, I did reach out to Shimano Australia for comment, and they replied within minutes. The reply back was they're currently working with the ACCC for the process, and we'll have something published within the week over on their website. Now, I'll put a pinned comment in this video with updated information as it comes to hand. So if you're watching this at a later date and you want the latest information, the first comment on this video will have everything you need. Okay, so that pretty much covers everything you need to know about this inspection recall replacement process this early in the game. It's a very, very long play, this one. It's going to go on for years and years. My take on things before signing off, I'm not all that comfortable with just the visual inspection. What's to say the crank has a hairline crack uh, underneath that can't be seen and snaps at a later date? Sure, Shimano will replace it. It's still a risk, though, I think. Anyhow, their replacement process has passed over in the US. I'm super keen to see if the same process will pass the ACCC here in Australia. We're pretty strict. And the final thing I'll bring up today is just how messy this is going to be for Stages, Four Eyes, Giant, InPeak, Machine, all who use Shimano cranks for their power meters. Let's just say I've got a single left-sided power meter from any of those companies, the Ultegra model, which isn't affected by this inspection recall process. The corresponding right-hand chain set is. And what happens if that shows an issue? Exactly what do I send back or get inspected or what can I expect? All questions that will need to be asked and it's still only early days. So hopefully things will be a lot clearer over the coming weeks. As mentioned, I will update the pinned comment on this video with all the updated relevant information. So stay tuned, check that out, and uh, good luck out on the bike. Thanks for watching.